family, friends, fellow gamers, educators, and students. And Marlene and Saskia. <laughs> Welcome back to Grumpy Gnome Gaming. I am Grumpy Gnome. Let's get our grump on in episode four of our Easter 2004 challenge. And of course, you're going to notice that this one has a subtitle that says this teacher cannot spell. We'll get into that later. But anyway, resume. We got some stuff we got to do here. Saskia, Marlene, I do hope you're back. I don't see you in chat window yet, but I've got my fingers crossed that you are there. Okay, the last thing we did here was we laid down our tailor and we laid down our linen weaver. So we're going to go ahead and let them build those out. There's Marlene. Boom, you're still there. Awesome. And now we need to figure out, we got to do a couple more production buildings over here. And then we also need to figure out what, oh, wait, we got another child. Awesome. Ramingo. Okay. So we got Ranko and Ramingo. Man, these sound like some real appliances or something, so. Anyway, tailor is built. What can this tailor actually make for us? Okay, good, 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 good. This guy's got a lot of stuff that he could put out for us. Okay, survival coats, linen coats. I'm just, do you got linen cloth in here? Because that would be redundant. I'd really like my warm coats, but we're not trading. Oh, by the way, for those of you, if this is your first episode, we are not using traders in this episode. So everything that you would normally produce for trading, we're not doing it. Okay, this one does not make linen cloth. So that's actually what this little guy right here is going to make for us. We need to find out if our gatherer is actually bringing flax into the mix. I don't see flax here. Oh my gosh, we're getting oats. And you know what that means. If, if you watch my channel, you know what that means. We're getting stables, baby. And now I got to figure out where the heck do we want to put stables. I really wanted to get the animals more outside of the uh, the urban sprawl in here. So we're going to find a place for stables and we're going to find a place to put the animal pens. That's not so much in the city. And as soon as I say that, I see this little opening right here. But I'm probably going to put, I may go ahead and put another house in right here just to kind of, yeah, fill that in. As a matter of fact, I may even throw another barn in here too. Let's see what we can get in. So here's, let's get them running. First thing I'm going to do is, oh my gosh, what is this? Oh, geez, it, all, it went cap. I thought somebody was yelling at me. Steam Elements is yelling at me. <laughs> Banish Mega Mod 9. This is the teacher cannot spell Easter. Yeah, that's me. Man, did, did we have that in the first chat? No, we didn't. That's interesting. It, the first chat did not tell me I went live. But this one is like totally yelling at me here. Okay, I'm sorry. Man, I, I offended somebody. Okay, here we go. Boom. There's that path. I'm going to just build my path out to the bridge. Like, oh, wait, wait, wait. I can't see. Oh, come on. There's that. There we go. I want to go right to that spot there. Bang. Okay, we're going to build that. How are my resources doing? You know what? I'm going to go ahead and build the bridge here. Because the one thing I said in my last episode is always leave yourself an out. So if something ever happens that we need to cross the river, now we'll be able to. I'm going to go ahead and collect, um, do another resource collection. 
and we're going to clear cut this whole area here. That sounds so mean, clear cutting. And um, yeah, right to there. That looks good. Let's clear cut that area. That's going to get us a little bit more iron ore. And we, we may want to start getting, oh wait, what season are we in? We're in summer and we still have a hunter going. I think I'm going to switch him over. I'm going to switch them over just for a couple months. And then when we hit the winter, I'm going to go ahead and put the hunter back in again. Clothing. Oh my gosh, we're a nudist colony. <laughs> there goes our family friendly status. Okay, let's go ahead and get some clothing built. You know what we need? Doggone it. Now it's just dawning on me. We need a town hall. <laughs> Shoot. Okay. Duh. And I think maybe we're going to go ahead and put a town hall right next to here, which is kind of in the center area of where we're at. And the town hall that I like to use is actually one that does not attract nomads. And now I'm starting to think, so Marlene and Saskia, here comes vote number two. Should we attempt to grow this town without any nomads? Or should we go open borders and allow people to immigrate in? Open borders. Man, we're using all these political terms for what's going on here. So basically, I guess what I'm trying to say, Marlene Saskia, are you an open borders person or are you a closed borders person? Check the settlers for, I think no nomad, nomads would be interesting. All right, Marlene, you are closed borders and check settlers for the menu. We can do that. Do 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 services do 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 meeting hall hospital a well that attracts nomads okay a chapel I like the hundred and twenty count and twenty four is not bad for a school okay so let's go ahead and I wonder if we can get the town hall, the hospital, well, let's see, chapel and school. First of all, how big are you? Ooh, you are big again. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm going to stick you right behind here because you fit in nicely. So we're going to go right there with, oh my gosh, pause. Does it have different facades? Because that's the one I want right there. So I don't know if that's the one I got. Let's flip. Because I always go with the dark wood with the light trim. That's what we're using for everything we got. So here we go. Boom. Ooh. No. I think that's the winner right there. So I don't know if that's what I got in. So I'm going to just do a really quick uh, switch out here. So do this. Uh, do this, remove structure, do this right there. Come back to settlers, come back to settlers, go back to services, go back to town hall. Let's make sure we get the one we want. Nope. I think that's the yep. So here we go. Flippy, flippy. And you're going to fit right nicely there because everything has to be centered in, in these games. Oh, wait a second. Pause. Doggone it. Well, I don't know why I pulled it off the road because I have a road there. Uh, boom. Okay. We're, hey, we're getting really fast at doing this anyway. So anyway, where are my services? Boom. Town hall. Uh, right color pattern. No. Yes. And put you on the road. Boom. There you go. You do have an insert. So I'm going to grab the path. Grab that one. Put you right there ticky and it's in let them build that and then that's going to give us an idea of what we got for inventories and such 
I am going to go ahead and build a second. Do I want to build a second row back here of housing? I don't know. Let's see how big the other ones are. The hospital is four deep. And that's the same as that. The only thing is if I put these next to here, one, that's a road. One, two, three. Yeah, see, I don't have much for back here. So we need to figure out how we're going to do that. And actually, you are the same as the town hall. So we can technically put the hospital behind the town hall. How big are, is our, the chapel and school? Cha-ching. Whoa, chapel is even larger. So chapel can go here. Or, actually, it would be better off on this side because it's going to get more housing. Okay, chapel's going to go on this side. And it's probably going to go right behind. You know what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to line it up with the back of the town hall. See how I'm butting up the back? And make sure we got the right color. And I don't think that's the one we're using. We're using that one. So we're going to come over here. I'm going to butt it up to there and find out where we can, I think right there. Boom. Put it in. Okay, we got us a chapel. Now let's go ahead and look at the school. And it is... And it, you know, it's kind of the same size as the chapel. No, it's not. It's even larger. Wow. Okay, this is going to need a little bit of fine-tuning to get this thing put in someplace. One, two. You know what? We might just give them a little bit of walk space around the school because we don't want to lose our children. <laughs> so, yeah, we might do that. Or we'll come back to this bridge when we get to it. But anyway, the chapel's going in. Um, what if you flip the school? Yeah, there's that possibility as well. Flip, 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 and we could put it in right here. And is that the same footprint as this? No. That still has one more. One, two. Oh, so I can only put something two right here. Okay. I think there are enough two things in here to put in right there. And you know what? I think we are going to go with the flipping of the school. And do we want to go here or do we want to go here? I'm almost thinking here just because we want the town hall to be the center. So what do you guys think? Center town hall or put this next to chapel? So we'll, I'll wait for the... Uh, I'll wait for the consensus to come in on that. In the meantime, let's see what else we can do. Is this only wood? Oh my gosh, I really love these only wood things. I'm going to kick in another builder just so they get this done quicker. And we're running around naked. This is going to tell us what we've got to make clothing with. You know what's nice about not having traders is you're not bringing a bunch of foreign material and foods into your village, which is going to keep this menu smaller. So the only thing that's going to show up here is what we're actually producing. There's our flax. I knew we were going to get flax. Oats is off the shelf. I need a stable. I need a stable. 
Okay, center the town hall. Right on, we'll do that. Okay, what was I looking for? Stuff to build clothes out of. Leather is obviously the first go-to, and that's only 12. That's not a lot. Reed's 42, and feathers are 10, so they're the survival coats. I think what we're going to do is maybe just keep an eye on the tailor and rotate the tailor in through all the different materials we have. We're getting duck meat, even though we don't have Doug's blinds put up yet. But that's cool. And there's that fiddlehead thing again. I think Mark explained to me. I'm sorry. I think Derpy explained to me what fiddlehead actually is. Never heard of it. Um, I thought it might be something southern, you know, but there again, maybe not. So this is just like the Marines. I'm sorry, not the Marines, but the Marine climate. I'm getting oats, onions, roots, and we're probably mushrooms. Where's my mushrooms? Yeah, and mushrooms. Rose hips. We need to get jam going or perfume. Venison, we need a butcher. Duck, the urban. Thanks, Marlene. I think you were the one that pointed that out. The urban butcher can use duck meat. But then we got to find a urban building that fits the theme. Get them running. School on the opposite side. Let's put it in. We will figure out what to do with all the open space once we um, once we actually need it. Okay, that's not the color we want. That is the color we want. I'm going to back this up to here, and we're going to come across until it fits, I guess, like that. Awesome. Drop it. And you know what? It looks like it lines up perfectly with the front. So let's go ahead and put you in there. And oh my gosh, we are making progress. I'm not worried about my roads. They're going to be putting those in. You know what? I want to do a labor account. A where's my, what am I looking for? My town hall. I need to, oh good, it minimizes. Okay, housing check. Ooh, we need a house. We can do that. If I put this house in over here, then that's going to give us somebody in the blacksmith and mining area. Or I don't need a second house here because we can still put one, one hunter, one gatherer into one house. So they're still content. I'm going to build this house right here. I'm also curious to see where I put the opening for this house because it looks like here I've got the opening into the cart. So this opening here would have to go into the cart. And I don't know if I did that. Oh, you guys have to admit you have never seen... A more OCD player than myself. <laughs> Sometimes I even wonder why you guys stick around because I'm sure I drive you guys nuts with this. Okay, let's get the opening to the cart. Flip, flip, flip. There's our color. Boom, opening to the cart. Put it in. Boom, and let them build it. There we go. All right. Church, do we? I don't need a cleric yet. But I do think we get this ring of happiness. So that's good. So our our bannies should remain happy. Now let's start doing something with our stuff that we have. Tailor. I'm going to start the tailor off with the hide coats. So I'm going to put somebody in. And then once we get the symbol where all the hide coats are used up, then we will go ahead and... switch to a different material. 
I might want to go ahead. I don't know why I want to go ahead and do this. I like your style of play and it's unique. That's awesome. How nice it always looks. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. I, Marlene, I appreciate that. Um, I try, I, I enjoy giving you guys something different than what you see on all the other channels out there. And it's, I don't know, man, maybe I'm just a perfectionist or something, but I like, I like things that flow and I can't think of a better way to put it than that. Oh, stone. No, oh, no, oh, right there. Oh, and I saw an insert right there. Boom. School, you had an insert too. Right there. Okay. Town Hall, did you have an insert? I think you did, and I think we already put it in. Boom. Okay, so now we got a little bit of nice um, scenery going in. Let's start thinking about what we might do with these little spaces here. And the first thing that comes to my mind right here is probably a um, like a beehive for the um, for the honey. But I'm not going to rush it. Did I put those in already? That one I think already went through. This one I don't think went through yet. There we go. And once again, they're not going to build the roads until we get stone. So I'm not really concerned about it. Do we have... Okay, here we go. Let's see what... How about a market barbecue uses that and the roots? A market barbecue. Can you tell me what menu that's in? A market barbecue. Maybe under markets. Boom. And these are markets, market buildings. Does anything say barbecue? Mini food. Done. General store. Market. That's a market market. Industrial. Farmer stand. Farmer market. Farm store. Emporium. Biddy. Once again, I kind of want to stay away from biddies. Rivers. You know what? That might be fun since we can't do traders. Maybe we'll put our own own little things on the river. Sherbro eight is that eighteen thousand? Oh my god. Pine market, market market, village market, port royal market, old town market, Moroccan. Cape Town, Central. I'm not seeing barbecue thing here. Um, in Kid. Okay. Food. Maybe, 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 maybe. Uh, fishy beekeeper. Really? What kind of beekeeper are you? Ooh. Da -dun 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 -dun. Look at that. We might have us a beekeeper. Okay. Uh, Derpy's favorite, the banana patch. And um, tomatoes. Fish farm. Ponds. I am going to no longer give shout outs to other channels. Because I... I don't know. It's um, everybody's doing their own thing. And I think they're kind of, I don't want to say they're preoccupied with their own, but it's, you know, I really try to keep a community together or to grow a community of banished players, but you can't, you can bring the kids to the sandbox, but you can't make them play together. I guess that's the best way to put it. So, you know what? I'm just going to let everybody do their own thing. These challenges, I think these are basically going to be personal challenges from now on. And I'm okay with that because I like to challenge myself. Uh, no, the river market is corrupt. It crashes the game. Okay, thank you for the warning. And I'm not seeing our barbecuer here. Uh, resource production. 
themed mods, would it be under themed? Would it be under count? No, it wouldn't be services. Let's look here for real fast. Oh my gosh, we got stuff here. Do we have a barbecue market? It's in resource production. Right here, resource? Abandoned places? Somehow I don't think that's what you were talking about. <gasps> resource production. Da -dun 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 -dun. Here we go. Let's go every one of these until we find it. No tinies. Know that. It's the one with the fork. The fork. The fork. Da -dun -dun. Barbecue market. A grill for your market. And you are just the right size to fit in right there. So you know what? I almost think this was made to go there. Let's do it. Don't know what it does, but by golly, Miss Molly, it's going in. Boom. All right. I liked that it had that small footprint because, like I said, we got all these little gaps that we need to fill in here now. And it looks like we're going to try to get something next to that one. And, well, what are you? You're a soup kitchen. I mean, does it make sense to put these two next to each other? And then we'll just draw the road around it? I think so. I think we're maybe going to do that. So we got us a soup kitchen, and we got us the market. Let's go ahead and put that in. Boom. Actually, the soup kitchen is very appropriate for the mission. So, awesome. We got that. And now let's go ahead and put that road in so we can see that little bump that we need to work around, which is going to be right here. Oh, and we can go ahead and put these inserts in here for these guys. And any more here? Nada. There we go. And we'll let them build those. Cool. Coolio. Okay. The You're out of that. Let's go to another type of clothing. You know what? Let's jump down to survival suits, reeds, and that. Because we did collect some. Tools are still hanging in there, so that's good. Oh, and that's what that bright brown bridge looks like. Oof. that That's almost an eyesore. Is that too bright? I mean, I'm trying to match it with this. There is one that's not as bright as this, which is, where are my roads? Here they are. Roads, bridges, wooden. Nope, wooden. It's this one right here is not as bright. And I'm almost regretting that bridge because that's an eyesore you need sunglasses to look at that so god i hate to do this but i don't like it it's not bringing joy and hopefully nobody gets trapped over here otherwise we're really screwed But as soon as that goes down, we'll build another one. Okay, how much, what's our labor force look like? Five and three, what's our housing count look like? Do we need more housing? No, we're good with housing for now. I want to get more people working. You know what? And I am going to put in a full-time hunter and gatherer. So I'm going to pull one of these out, put one in here. And then that way we don't have to worry about switching these back and forth or monitoring the seasons. I think once we get another laborer, I'm going to go ahead and open up the first nut grove here also. I call it a nut grove, but it's a, that's what it is. <laughs> I'm hoping it's just as much of a forester as it is a nut grove. And we're good. We're good. So at the next two jobs that we're going to fill are going to be one in here 
and I'm going to get a miner. And once the miner starts making iron for us, we're going to kick our tools up to iron tools. And I think we're, we're off to a really good start. Okay, what next? Let's see. No Nomads might make the game very slow in the beginning. Didn't think of that. Feel free to change it if you want. I like the style of the bridge. The color is a bit much. Yeah. I'm sorry if I blinded you. Let's go back to... that. The bridge almost was a little bit gaudy looking. I mean, it was huge for what you would expect. Let's toy with a different bridge. Let's come here. And I'm almost wondering what this little bitty wood bridge is. This little cute thing here. It's a bitty wooden style bridge. Have Has anybody toyed with this one? Because it almost looks cute. Like it's just going to hop us across. And then, of course, we got the uh, the generic wood ones over here. I think I'm going to, I want to plop this one down just to see what it looks like. And, I mean, we can always get rid of it if we need to. There's no question about the coloring to it. And then I'm going to pull that bridge out there because I don't want another blinding bridge looking at us. Okay, that is getting done. Let's see if we can expand a little bit further south. I want to minimize the angry flattener. So I'm going to actually leave the hill in and just use it as a, as a fun hill where they can go hiking or the kids can go roll down it or something and whatever. We'll use it as part of the scenery in the map. What else do we need? We need the butchers. Let's look at some butchers. Now for ducks, and that reminds me, I should probably drop a duck blind in. And something tells me the first place we should drop a duck blind might be right over here. I'm thinking, let's flip for a minute. Okay, let's come down. Look at where this bridge crosses. We got this area here to build with. And we got this area over here. We got one of two things that we can do. We can go reeds over here. Or we can go seafood scavengers. Now, one area that I really sought out for, for the reeds was this shoreline right here. If we can build a little dock right along this waterway, this is going to give us a ton of reeds. Or we can go rice over here because rice uses a five pixel footprint where the reeds and the scavenger only uses three. Uh, looks like a point right here for fishing. So, yeah, that's where I was going with that. But I think the first thing that we're going to plant on the river is going to go right here. So, reeds next to the duck blind. Okay. So we're going to go with Doug's duck blinds, and then we're going to go reeds. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's see how we're going to plant this out first. Here, and nope, I want here. And then we're going to go hunter, and then we're going to go duck. And then this is what our duck blind looks like. So I'm thinking duck blind is going to go on the outside. I don't know. Flip, flip, flip. We're going to come off of a road right there. Is that a road or is that the... Okay, that's the bridge. We can put duck blind right there. And then we can put reeds right here. Oh, 
or oh that really doesn't even fit nicely there's no well we can go there one two three and then that's where that's a little bit inland though don't like that really too much let's do that let's put the duck blind next to the so we're gonna go one here boom we're gonna cross the river and put one in right here boom and then maybe we'll go with the reeds on the outside we'll build a road around it like this and then we'll build a dock and then put the reeds off the dock I think that's what we're gonna do seems like your are out of logs and stone <laughs> story of my life um, social distortion Mike Ness so there's my shout out for um, for you guys story of my life okay here we go let's do the flippy thing so we can come back to perspective are we running now we are okay I need stone I need logs logs will be easy let's go ahead and clear cut some more so we can get that done oh I guess I left the bridge open for them to build that's cool uh, we'll just do a clear everything resource for this area here Come on down here and uh, we'll go a little deeper I don't want to go too far back into that area but we'll take that right there and let them collect it and I'm almost thinking should we do a stone quarry right here let's take that road that we've already got going down Let's expand it a little bit further. If we're doing a stone quarry, we want to come down five. So technically, we want to come down six because we want to leave a space between the quarry and the mine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, right to thar. Cha-ching, put it in. And let's grab. Unfortunately, I don't think the stones have a, a quarry. Oh my, I should have used that woodcutter because I'm using that mine. Doggone it. I should have used that woodcutter. But you don't have a quarry. Smith, no. Because why would they need it if you can pull stone out of that? Oh, not some of this good. I don't think I can get two more in perfectly here. So let's see. I know. There's that road. See, I'm hitting my red there. So if I went in one, still not. If I went in two, and then one there, one, two, no. If we went in two, one, two, three, no. Well, doggone it, maybe just go one more in to there. Let's see how far I can go in. I can go into there. Can I come down four? One, two, three. No. Nope. It ain't going to happen. Let's go with the quarry. And you know what? We're just going to have to go with a quarry that's going to run dry on us. But you know what? We can always rebuild it. Just like we have always done in the past. So there's my small one. Cha-ching. Let's go ahead and put you on this road. Well, let's see how far in. We could go right to there. You know what? We might want to do that. Go in a little bit. Do -do 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 you know what? I'm almost thinking about angry flattening those two right there. And then just putting you in right there. And I didn't want to do that. <laughs> what a boob I am. Okay, let's go ahead and take that guy out of there. Boom, boom. No, we're going to stick with the original plan. And uh, let's see what we got. Where's my stone thing? Do, 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 do. I can't do that. Otherwise, the demonetization thing comes after you. There's that. Leave a space. Boom. And you know what? Oh, that one pixel right there. 
is throwing us off. Doggone it. I wonder if I could nail that pixel with the angry flattener. <gasps> oh my god, did I miss? Boom. Now, grab the... Uh, I know I said I wasn't going to do it, but I'm going to, let me rephrase it. I'm going to try to minimize what I put that into. Now, do you fit nicely? You know what? That's close enough for the government. Boom, right there. Make it happen. And then I need to take that road out that I just put in. So there's that. There's that. Take out those six pieces of road right there. Boom. Boom. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring the road across. So I need to go into this menu here. I will check up there in just a second, guys, because I'm old and I forget things. So bear with me. There we go. Let's come across. Come on down. Right to thar. Boom. Right to thar. And I think I'm going to do this a bigger stone stockpile. And let's go ahead and grab stone stockpile, which is going to be under stockpile, under stockpile, under stone. And I'm going to start here in this corner. There's that. So I'm coming down five and I'm going to come out to that border right there. Boom. Perfect. OK, what do we got here? Reads next to duck blind check. Let's see if they got that built yet. Seems like you're out of logs. Okay, yeah, and we just um, kind of remedied that. You know what? Maybe we should get the foresters in there. We Looks like we got laborers. So the first one I'm going to do is open this guy up here. I do not have any idea how these work. So this is just as new to me as it is to you. I'm wondering now if I should have put that on the inside, but you know what? I'm not going to worry about it because it looks like they're both filling up nicely, which is good. That means they're sharing the love. And when the village shares the love, it's all good. It's all good. Good, 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 good. Here we go. They haven't built these yet. What am I missing? Iron. Well, by golly, Miss Molly, I think it is time we get somebody in here getting iron for us. So cha-ching, let's get some iron coming in. Oh my God, we we just got us a happy little building community going on. I think I'm going to put another housing thing over here. Nobody has died yet. and But we've only got one child. So we need more children before the school comes feasible. Is there a reason we're not getting children? Yep, we need more homes. There we go. And so we're going to open this one. Cha-ching. And let's find another house that we can open. We don't need any more here because now our food is going up again. I'm thinking maybe putting in a second house down here. Because this area is going to get some population in quick. And that doggone stable. We need to get on that. So let me put in another house right next. Oops, hello. Right over here. And we'll go right next to that one. So cha-ching, forest home, cha-ching, forest home, cha-ching. And, well, the right color, ching, 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 wrong angle. Wrong. Right. Perfect. Boom. Put her in. Yeah, put her in. And with the duck blinds going in over here, that's not going to leave us a lot to do here because the first thing coming out here has got to be a road. A road. So that's going to leave us like a single thing right here. 
to do something with. And I don't know. Yeah, that bridge looks looks better. Doggone it. It almost kind of matches more with what we got going on. I like that. The other one was just psh, real gaudy looking. Didn't care for it. I think it takes a few seasons before they produce nuts. Logs come right away. Yeah, and that's kind of why I left the um, the trees in there. So they do have something to chop down. Yeah, we're already up to 120. I'm happy with that. Hey, Marlene, you almost made the map. Marlis. Marlisol. Marlisol. Well, whoa. And Marlisol is a male. Marlisol? Marlisol. Okay. Here we go. Ooh, must be a long lost cut. Yeah, I guess so. So let's go ahead and you are cold, which means you need wood. So let's go ahead and kick in a wood cutter. We got us a chop chop. So let's go ahead and put one person into that. Cha-ching. And now we got some wood coming in. Awesome. God, I love it when things work out. Let's go ahead and build the road around you. Gotta keep wanting to go to the regular roads that we have. So we're gonna go back to the paths. We're gonna go to here. We're gonna come here and just build like that. This road here, I think what we're gonna do is come around the corner and then maybe get some dock going in here. Oh, we got duck blinds in first that we need to deal with. And the duck blinds are two wide or three wide? I don't know. Well, there's that. I don't know if they were three wide or two wide. So let me go ahead and put two in for the, for the time being. And we did put them right next to the bridge, I think. Same thing here, we'll come down one, we'll go over two. And then we've got this little gap right here that we need to fill in with something. It would really be cool if there was some type of a um, storage that was one wide that we could put in right there. Okay, anyway, we're coming along well. We actually can cross the river. I'm not going to put any roads in there, but so did, did we conclude that we're not doing nomads? Because if that's the case, I'm not going to be concerned with it. If it, if we are going to bring nomads in, then I want to start working on the hostel. So let's, those roads are nice. Can you count the tiles? Yeah, that I know they do line up perfectly. So let's um let's revisit nomads. If I do bring nomads in, I'm probably going to bring them in in this area so that they can occupy the hostel. Cuz that seems to be I'll leave it up to you with the nomads. Maybe the game will be too slow. Well, you know what? I I'm going to agree <laughs> I'm a gonna. <laughs> wow. Okay. There's some good teacher talk for you. You know what? Every once in a while, I break out into character in my classroom. The kids love it. The, the kids love anything that is out of the ordinary in the classroom. And I actually thought about creating a blog for guest teachers on how to better relate to your students because so many times I hear the nightmare stories from the students that they get substitute teachers that just spend, what the heck? That substitute teachers that spend the whole day just yelling at them because, well, number one, there are behavior issues, but number two is you're not keeping your students 
busy. So keep them occupied. If you don't have work for them, at least entertain them in an educational way. And that kind of sounds like we're fooling them. But you know what? Yeah, we are. You know what? I'll bet this isn't getting done because we need reads. Doggone it. I knew it. Okay. So there's my little rant there. Yeah, I'm actually thinking about doing a blog. You know, maybe the grumpy teacher. And um, oh, I'm flipping. <laughs> you guys just fell out of your seats. Let me see what we can do down here to make this look aesthetically pleasing. And we want to come over. Is it this way? Nope. Wrong way. This way. Dun, 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 center. Okay, let's build this up. First of all, close it so it looks pretty. And we're going to go reads here, and we're going to go reads here. First of all, let's see what's going to look like if we drop in the reads without doing any destruction. So flip. There's our reads. There's the edge of the duck blind. Okay, we're already going to have to come down one. And I don't even think it's going to fit. Okay. So, should we have done reads first and then duck? Well, that wasn't going to fit either. And then I got my fishing dock here. One, two... So I got one space between the dock and whatever is there. I'm almost, okay, duck blinds are two. I'm thinking about two duck blinds here, one duck blind here, and relocating the reeds. <gasps> Maybe here or here. And this is going to take some thought because it's on an angle. This is nice and flat. I think I'm going to go right here with it. So we're going to drop a second duck blind in here to give us a total of three. We're going to get, we'll probably find some type of a butcher and put that in the back over here somewhere. Reeds over here. And then we want to get maybe a second tailor in to do nothing but survival coats because we don't need rope. We don't need rope for trading. So let's find out what we can do first without any forming, also known as angry flattening, over here. Boom. And right there, I think, okay, there's the magic line right there. So let's come all the way across to here. Boom. Right there. So there's one. One, two, three, two. One, two. No. Three. A single pixel. Now I got to figure out, are you a water pixel or you are a water pixel? No, you're not. I can't even figure out what the heck you are. You got to be a land pixel. Let me go ahead and get rid of that one. If I can, I'm going to put my finger on you and then I'm going to take it out. So here we go. Angry, angry, angry. Right there. Is that where it was? Let's try that one first to see if that was it. It might be one down further. Okay, let's go back to this, this reads, and there's the road. So one, one, two, three, two, one, two. Yep, we missed it. Three, three. Or just come down one more. How did I miss that? Okay, I'm going to try something else. One more, just for... the sake of doing this. 
And this might screw things up too, but we'll we'll recover. There's the dock. There's that. And if I have to, I'll just drop it down one more. The whole line. So where are my reeds? Here they are. There's my line. Let's see if we can come across. Where does the line start? Right there. Boom. One. One, two, three, two. One, two, three. Doesn't go in. Three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. You know what? We're just going to work around it. If it doesn't want to play, maybe just two reeds. I'm happy with two. One there. And actually, I'm going to leave a space to, me, yeah, to make it aesthetically pleasing. There we go. And don't know what I'm going to do yet here as far as housing goes. Might want to run a road. Once again, I don't do diagonal roads, but just as I said that, <laughs> I might do it. And then that leaves us enough river here that we can build on this side and still put something in. Now, how am I going to get my road from down here up to here? And they need storage over here. I don't want them. Man, where's my nearest storage barn over here? I know I got to give the duck blinds some storage. And I'm almost thinking those little mini sheds right here. A mini shed there and a mini shed here. They're going to need a larger foods going down. Ooh, okay, well, let's let's address that. Okay, here's one of these. What are you making? Barbecue meal makes chicken, potatoes, and fire. Holy nuts on a biscuit. Well, we know we're getting venison. Doggone it, doggone it, doggone it. Stable. Stable, 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 stable. Mushrooms. Mushrooms, we still need potatoes. Maybe it's time to drop in a potato um, grove. And I do want to go, I do want farming outside of the urban sprawl. Okay, now that we know what you make, we know what we need. It looks like potatoes is in high demand. So we're going to look at all the different plots that make the potatoes. God, I got caught up in my reeds down here. And you know what? Maybe we'll just get one person. You know, let's get the little mini storages in first. And I think it's under small. Now we got to find the one that says tiny. Is that it? You are it. The little tiny barn. And I think we're going to stick these in like right here. Perfect. So you're going to get a tiny barn. And there's not different facets to this. So you're going to get one here. So cha-ching. Boom. And then you're going to get one right here. Cha-ching. And then that's what the duck blind people can put the duck into. Uh, potato fields are in the pie set. Awesome. Let's go to pies. Okay. And I want to put the potatoes outside of the urban sprawl. That was one thing that really made me sad in the last episode. Do we want to do we want to stay small or should we just go? guns blazing and go for something large seven by seven i'm flipping god can i flip with that thing open yes i can do 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 okay i love the greenhouse oh my gosh now i see a door okay it looks like i've got a door on all sides so there is no frontage to this. What if we put one here? Oh my gosh. Oof. One here and one here. I think 
that might be our winner. Seven by seven. The first, first is a patch, and then the greenhouse on top. Okay, yeah, I think that this also works. Yeah, okay. So we need to put the patch in first. But where's my 7-7 seven, seven patch? Nursery. Greenhouse. Oil. Mill. Storage. What's that storage look like? Ooh. That's almost cool. Flip. That would really be cool if that would... Oh, my God. It doesn't fit evenly. Dog, got it. Oh. <laughs> Yay, it fits evenly. Okay, so maybe, 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 maybe we can put a couple storages in between two greenhouses over here. Build a farming plot. Oh my gosh, and there it is. With a shed. Um, we're going to do that. We're going to come behind here and do that. So, what I need to know is, let me put storage down first. And I'm going to center my storage here. Are there different, different front facings? No, it's only one, and it is stone. So here's one. Boom. And there's two. Now, what's my seven by seven plot look like? Oh, we cannot even put it in. Unless we angry flatten. Well, by golly, oh no, that's going to hit the... So we the plot's got to come out to here unless we go six by four. I'm thinking six by four right here, six by four right here, and then awesome. Yeah, that's exactly what we're gonna do. So let's go ahead and drop one in here. So cha ching. Make it happen. Poof. Come over here. Drop one in here. Cha-ching. Poof. Make it happen. And then we need to see where the um, the storage is going to go in. So let me go ahead and pull the storage for now, only so I can get them building these plots. Uh, the road will expand one. Okay. Well, you know what, then we'll find some way to get it in. And even if we don't go with that storage, we'll find another one to go with. Let's go ahead and clear cut a little bit more like this area. I might as well grab those trees while we're at it. Boom. Stables and housing. Let's go ahead and check that. Hunting blinds are going to go in now because, no, they're not. Now they are. Uh, the barbecue is also one expanded. This one here. The barbecue is also expand one. Okay, I no, these two are butt up, butting up against each other. So I can't get into there. Let's um let's put some more fillers in. Filler, filler, filler. I need settler. Boom. Settlers, path. This one, and we're gonna fill this in. Just like that. Just like that. And now we were gonna see, you know what? I might as well go ahead and encapsulate this whole thing here. Got it. It's not going to let me, is it? Uh, 
Nope, because we're taking all the resources out of this area. Doggone it. Well, give me what you can, and we'll fill it in later. There we go. And now let's run some roads up here. And then that's going to tell us what kind of storage we can put in in the middle. So it looks like a, th oh my God, we can actually count this a three by four. So we need a three by four storage. Okay. Let's see, how about, how about a high capacity three by four? What do they have for us? Let's go into here. You are a small barn, 3,008, not enough. 1,600, you're going the wrong way. 5,000, sounds better. Are you a three by four? Boom. Oh my God. Ah, uh, nuts. You don't fit nicely. Okay, keep looking. What are you? Celtic storage. Don't even know what the heck that is. 2,000 capacity, not enough. 900, you're going the wrong way. A small barn for 4,500. Do, 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 do. That might be our winner right there. Let's see. We got a rustic looking thing. And that's the only facet it comes in. Flip, 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 flip. And oh my gosh. We got storage. Cha-ching. Make it happen. Awesome. Now let's get some potatoes. We don't want a potato famine. There's an Irish theme for you right there too. Okay. And you know what? Just because it looked cool, I think we are going to greenhouse these. So let's go here. Let's go back to Settlers. Let's come back to, I don't even know where the resources or where the, where were the greenhouses? Oh, pies. I'm in the wrong menu. Okay. El Pio. Uh, greenhouses, six by four. Do, 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 do. There we go. And holy nuts on a biscuit. That almost looks good. If I can actually line it up. Is that it? I think that's it. So let's put you in right there. Is there a front and back? There is. There's a door. Door goes to there. Boom. And boom. I hope those went in. There they are. Awesome. Oh my gosh. We're... And green out. Oh my gosh. But how do I get back to my plots? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I cannot get back to my plots now. Ugh. Well, let's go down to farmer and see if that puts somebody in. Farmer, farmer, farmer. I don't have farmers. Are they up like at the top of it? There they are. Two. Okay, we need we need people in this town. Housing. Do we want to build more housing? Yes, we do. I think we might try to fill this area in right here. I just don't know what we're gonna oh how did the heck did that happen? I'm not concerned. We'll just build another one going in the opposite direction here. Then we need butchers. We need a butcher. We need a stable. Stable should probably go someplace further out. Let me see if I can build further down over here, and then we'll start getting some animals going. So here we go. Stable, stable, stable. I know where you are because I use you all the time. Are you here? For some reason, I thought you were... In one of these, there, there you be. I knew you were in one of those obscure areas. So we could go here. Yep, 
Yeah, that'll work. And then... And then we'll figure out where we're going to put some animals. Maybe put them off to the... Yeah, I'm going to put my stable right there. And then maybe get animals going in this direction. Now, did I leave two roads or one? One. One. Good. Perfect. Build it. Hunting blind is done, but we don't have the people to go in there. But we do know that the reeds are working. So that's good. Good, 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 good. Let's go ahead and start getting a road down to the fishermen down here. And maybe get a second row of housing going in. So let's come across this way. And that won't fit nicely for housing. But the first thing I'm going to do is pause. No, you know what? Slow them down. I don't want to pause. I, I really don't want to pause. And come over here. Go to my foresty people. And then grab my houses. And actually, we're going to come here. And we're going to do the flippy thing. Flip, flip. And we're going to pick the right colors. So no, no. Yes. Yes. And I'm going to put you right here back to back with that one. So you're going to go to Ching. This one's going to come over here and go back to back with that one. And then that's going to give us two more houses even though we don't need them <laughs> go figure okay if we don't need them let's pause them but what else can we do duck blinds i think we want to get one per we don't even have the labor force for that food is actually going up again but you know what? If we put a duck blind person in, we got iron. What did we need iron for? I think it was these things. Yeah. Two of two. We don't have stones. Okay. Do, 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 do. Now we got stone. And anybody who is not working let's go ahead and send them out to gather stone like right up there oh i don't want that high get that little patch anything there no anything here no anything here no so they're going to grab that little patch over there there's nothing down here really you know what there's a stone stockpile right here so grab that right there poof okay that's going to get a stone and for some reason i've got a feeling the first thing they're going to do is probably jump on the roads try clicking the little shed outside the greenhouse okay i'm going to flip 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 did it did did it did zoom in zoom in You, you are awesome. You are awesome. Marlene, are your kids watching? If your kids are watching, you make sure that they tell you you are awesome. That, hmm, yes. Why does this not look good? Oh my gosh, what did we do? No, 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 no. That ain't going to fly. What happened there? Oh my gosh, that is an eyesore. Okay, we need a two by four barn that's going to go in there. And if I can't get a two by four, I'll drop two two by twos in and we'll go back to back. Or he not, but I'll make sure. Yeah, you tell him. Otherwise, we're going to get our grump on over here. 
So run. There we go. Now, they're going to destroy that because that ain't going to fly. Let's go ahead and finish the road going around. I don't know what happened. There's that. Let's flip again. Let's get the road in the back put in. It almost looks like it is, but... Whoops, what happened here? Whoa, something funky is going on here. Oh, no, you're not part of my hill, are you? Okay, I don't know what's going on there, but we're going to figure it out. And the best way to figure it out is first thing to do is remove the roads. Like uh, that. That. Remove the roads. Boom. Next thing we're going to do, angry flattener. Because we're going to get our grump on here. Boom, boom. Come over here. And angry flatten. And look at that. That won't even let us do that until the um, thing gets removed. Boom. Okay. Take it out. Take it out. Boom. And now get rid of that. Oh my gosh, that looks ugly. Okay. We're digressing. Deannis. I got a sister named Deanna. So this thing is really playing with our names today. Okay. I think you misplaced that green. I misplaced a Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Okay, yeah. So these things will like get put wherever you stick them. Like, can we put them on top of another building? But I see that now. We have this over here. Wow, is that it? Wow, Marlene, good call. Good call. Oh, wow. You just saved a lot of grump right there. Pies. Greenhouses. Six by fours. Um, there it is. Whoop, there it is. Okay, flip the door. One, two. Put it right there. Make it happen. No. Right there. Make it happen. Boof. Okay. Now, that looks better. Oh, and whoa, stop. <laughs> Got to cancel the destruction here. So where's my cancel? Cancel. Boom. There we go. Awesome. Let's go ahead and frame this with path, with stone, with here we go. All the way to var, 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 and oh my gosh, that is done. We still don't have a farmer in there yet, but you know what? We can put a farmer in this one. So let's go one farmer, and there is. So hopefully we're going to get potatoes now. I want my stable built. Prioritize. Prioritize, and I'm only going to click once, just like that. See what they do. Uh, we could frame a little bit around the um, stables. Kind of. Yeah. And then I need to figure out how we're going to do our animal pens. But that's going to be fun once we start getting those built. Okay, so I need my roads again. Roads, roads, roads. Let's, um, oh my gosh, I screwed up here too. Look at that. They need to come, he needs to come down one more. Do, 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 do. There's some resources. Okay, where were you? You were like someplace over here. You were here. And now let's try to get you on the road. On the road again. 
Just can't wait to get on the road again. Okay, there we go. Now make it happen. That's interesting. You're dropping stone in the road. No, you're not, are you? Yeah, you are. There we go. It's making its way in there. Okay. Housing check. We need a house. Good, good, good. We're ready for it. Oops, this way. This one here. Open it up. Boom. Do we have enough for a builder? Yes, we do. Look at that. Cha-ching. Nomads. Let's go back to that again. I think um, let's find some place across the river where we can attract nomads. And the first thing we're going to need to do is look at this footprint here for what we got going on. So we're going to grab this and we're just going to look at that. That's where the building layout is. If we wanted to, I don't know. I think if I was going to put nomads anywhere, I would probably put them closer to the center of the map and then let them migrate to the outside. But I really can't see. Or behind the hostel, we can put in some type of a park. Or even bring the hostel back to the bakery and then leave the area in front of the hostel as a park, like a reception area. I think that's what we're going to do. And then we can put a nomad well in there. And is it an, it's not an odd number. Shoot. But if I was going to put a fountain, it may, you know, maybe offset it. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's get rid of the hostel. I mean, we're not permanently move, destroying it. But what we want to do is we're going to take the hostel from bed and breakfast and I'm going to line it up with the back of the bakery. Right there. So I'm going to come across. Like that. Like that. And I'm pretty sure that's going to be our gap. Because that's a whole road right there. So I'm going to drop you in right there. And then that's going to give us this little reception area here where we'll go ahead and we'll drop in the set, the, the well from whichever set it was in. Was it settlers that had their own well? Somebody did. Services. Well. Right there. In front of that. So, I'm going to grab some roadage from you, and let's go ahead and start building from here. Whoa. Is that where it lines up at? Oh, man. Something tells me this is not lined up, but I'm going to flip, because this will give us a better perspective. Come over here, and... Come on down. Yeah, I think uh, everything, it, wait, pause. Everything is off the road by one. And that was because I think we had that hostel in there. So we need to actually redecorate this entire area. And we'll base it off of the new road here. Oh my gosh, we got to redesign this whole area now. There's the road. Do the flippy thing. Oh my gosh, that really screwed things up big time. You know what? Start from scratch. That's the best thing we're going to do here. Destroy all that. And you know what? Maybe, 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 maybe. What I want to do is take a measurement for the roads. 
and find our center point. I don't know why I'm doing this, but where am I looking for this? I want to go to here. I want to go to here. First thing I got to do is come down from here. So there's our comer downer space right there. And then from that point, go across to this point, and that gives us 45. So it's going to be 23. 23 is the halfway mark, which is right here. Boom. And so from right there is going to be where the, kind of like the insert for the hostel is going to go in. So let's grab the hostel. I can't even do that right now, can I? Yeah, I can. Okay, the hostel was under bed and breakfast. It was here. And see the insert there in the middle, right there? I'm going to stick you right there like that. And then I'm going to grab the breakfast nook, which is going to go on the road now on this side right there. So there's our breakfast nook, cha-ching. And then I'm going to grab the pancake house and put it on this side. And that did not have a road. Hey, washing machine's angry again. That's going to go right there. Okay. And then we we're going to grab the bakery, the Rise and Shine Bakery. Line it up behind here. Right there. Yep. Come on up to there. Now, oh, no, I got to go up one higher. Do you have different facades? No, you don't. But I do need to come up even higher. So here we go. So up, 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 and then one more. Boom. And then that'll let us get the road in. You're going in there. And now I want to line up my hostel with the bakery. Oops, I hope that's my hostel and nothing else. Okay, here we go. Do, 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 do. Wrong menu. Do, 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 do. Hostel. Line it up with that. Right there. Come across, come across. Come across now. Right there. Okay, boom. Put it in. Now, I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to let them build all of that. Ah, hairs. Okay. I don't know what that's going to do for us about letting them build all that. First of all, I want to get a stockpile over here. And then I'm going to do a little clear cut in this whole area. And so let's go ahead and grab us a stockpile. And I'm going to put the stockpile like right over here, yonder. And can I go up one? Yeah. Two? Yeah. How about if I come over one more? Nope. Whoops. Right there. Right. That, you know what? Three by four? Three by four is big. But you know what? Three by three. That'll work. Boom. Make it happen. Okay. And then that, you know what, that's going to be cool. Then that'll get us building on that side. So we have expanded across the river. I'm going to do a time check here. Four seconds. <laughs> Wonderful. Man, it's like my instinct is just kicking in. This was, I want to say, a better build than the last one. And you know what? This is the water mill over here that's actually going to produce for the bakery here. So this area is going to be self-sufficient from the bed and breakfast menu. There they go, running across the bridge. And you know what? Let's put a priority on this stockpile. So that way they're not running resources all the way back. Oh my gosh, this is really, really, really cool. So we're getting stone, we're getting iron. I'm going to go ahead and switch our blacksmith to iron tools. Boom, because those are going to last longer than the um, 
rough tools. And the one thing that we need to consider now is do any of that, does any of this bed and breakfast stuff need iron? No. No. But oh my gosh, it needs stone. It needs a lot of stone. Oof. Okay. You know what? Do, 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 do. Stoneage. Let's grab some stone from over here. And I don't want to cross the creek because that will be disastrous. Once again, I don't want to cross the creek. Okay, so they'll grab that little bit of stone, put it right here, and then they can use it right there. And let's catch up over here. Greenhouse needs to go one more to the left. Awesome. We did that stop. Removing the shed. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm sorry. You yelled at me. Okay. In the town center, the mother stat. Okay. So you want to go with the mother statue again? We can do that. The founding mother. Okay. Oh, so now we got our stable built. Let's, can I put somebody in? Doggone it. I am going to. I'm going to put a pause on that stuff over there. Because this is not my biggest priority right now. My biggest priority is kind of keeping... Pause. Is kind of keeping the um, the village over on the, the left up and running. Yeah, like that. But I hear what you're saying. You think that the statue should go here. I would really have loved to put the statue in over here someplace. And I'm not totally ruling it out yet, but let's see. I'm glad I got my stable in. Now, start making domesticated animals. Boom. And then we need to, you're already maxed out. Well, what that's telling me is we got too much miscellaneous garbage that we don't need. Okay, let's figure out what the heck we can do. Oh man, I am almost thinking maybe next to the greenhouse here, put another storage in. Because the last thing I want are the storages to be overfilled well, you're almost ready for another stockpile on the other side of the road. Let's kind of plan out where we want the animal pens to go. I mean, in a perfect world, I would be lining them up next to the stable. So I'm not going to rule that out. I think that is going to be the game plan. So let's grab a little bit. Man, the washing machine is angry. Let's grab the stone road. I'm going to come across, okay, four is going to give us our first one. Boom. And then come up. I'm just going to go five up, four, four. Oh, you're only five deep or four deep? I thought you guys were five deep. Oh, you're five across. Okay. Ooh, maybe we can leave a double road here in front of the animal pens. Ooh. Oh, even better? What if the second road that we put in is a dirt road and then run the dirt road through the animal pens to make it look real farmish? Farm... Farmish. That might be interesting just to see what it looks like. And as much as I want to put wool down right now, we're not trading. So I don't need a fabric industry. But one thing that I do want to get down are my eggs. Because doggone it, Easter without Easter eggs is like, Christmas without a Christmas tree. 
Let's go ahead and go to this. Let's go ahead and go to the animal pens. Let's grab our chicken coop, egg pen, boom. And I'm gonna flip you, flip, flip, and we're gonna stick you right here. We're gonna line you up with the back of the stable. Come over, come over, come over. Put you right there. And I am just really curious to see how this is gonna look. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in right now. Here, we're gonna go one, two, three, right there. And here, we're gonna go one, two, three, right there. And then that's gonna make this look a little bit more farmish. That's, that's our word of the day, farmish. Okay, oh, in advance, hamster. All right, Marlene, you gotta go. All right, I got it. Thank you. We will be cutting this off here shortly. As a matter of fact, I should probably cut it off now because I gotta get into fallout shelter. We're gonna do one more housing check here. We're perfect with housing. I'm just gonna minimize and then put you right thar. I think this is going to be, I'm trying to see, is that even level? Or is that, that's level? I don't know. Maybe sort of, kind of. So anyway, hey, you guys, if you like this episode, please give me a like. If you're watching me on Twitch, please hit that follow button. If you're watching me on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button. If you do either of those things, please share my videos with your friends, family, and animals. And also... Tell 10 people about my site. If you don't know 10 people, tell five people twice. If you don't know five people, buy a hamster. <laughs> there you go. And uh, Saskia came in. Name that hamster Boo. If you get that reference, leave a comment below. I am Grumpy Gnome. I am going to pause. And I'm going to save because I'm old and I'll forget. Do, 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 do. There's save and... Cha-ching. Save it. Boom. With that said, that's it, man. If you got anything for me, leave me a comment below or go ahead and hit me up on Discord at Grumpy Gnome Gaming. We're out of here in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I hope there will be more episodes. There will be. Actually, we're going to do this at least for one more week, and then we'll see how it goes. I really love the small maps. So we're going to keep the small maps going. And after this episode, I don't know where I'm going to go with the next one. So if you've got an idea, leave a comment, join me on Discord. We'll talk about it. Or I'll see you on next Sunday when we can do it again. I'm out of here. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. And cha-ching, and cha-ching.